Hello friends, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech channel and today we have a, a task of creating new site collection for our new department of quality assurance in a new content database. Okay, uh, so as a preamble, when you uh, analyze as a SharePoint administrator, you came to know that you have already a SharePoint 2019 on-premise environment in which you have a site collection for your organization that is uh, in our case is uh, this this is the url in our case that is http at ldf tech company colon port number <clears throat> so we uh, in our uh, this website we have create we have already created three site collections that are hr finance logistics and supply chain department now what is the problem statement uh, problem statement is that in your organization a new department has been created for software quality assurance sorry quality assurance department so uh, as a as a sharepoint administrator you have already analyzed that your existing data uh, the data size requirement of this newly created uh, newly required uh, site collection of quality assurance department is 100 gb okay it means that in coming uh, 5 years or 6 years your uh, data size of this quality assurance site collection will grow up to 100 GB. This is the approximate uh, anal analysis as a SharePoint administrator. You have already uh, discussed uh, this with the quality assurance department manager and he has given you the requirement that in upcoming time, uh, the uh, data size of the uh, quality assurance department site collection will grow up to <coughs> 100 GB. After that, uh, you also came to know uh, that you also analyzed that your existing departments that were HR, finance and logistic and supply chain department uh, that were already created have already uh, their data size has already grown up to 80 GB. Okay. So what, what is the task? Task is that you have to create a new site collection for software quality assurance department okay so i am going to uh, exclude it this this is the just task for uh, you are sharepoint administrator in your organization and your manager or the boss told you uh, uh, or tasked you to create a new site collection for quality assurance department <clears throat> you have also uh, analysis this thing so uh, let me show you that this is your site collection this was the URL of your site or organization. In this organization, you have three site collections that is finance department, human resource department and log and supply chain department. I have already told you about this in theoretical part. So what you did, uh, you have already uh, three site collections that is logistics and supply chain department. I'm showing you through navigations human resource department and the last of all is uh, finance department <clears throat> so now a new department is created that is uh, so a quality assurance department and uh, now the challenge the thing uh, to understand in this video that is the most important part of this video is that uh, your existing database has already grown up to a data size of 80 GB that is if we go into central administration and if we go into application management and see uh, view all site collections here you are seeing that we have uh, four, uh, three uh, site collections and all of these site collections if you see the database the database is common that is this one for finance and same for the uh, same database for HR and same database for LSE. If you go into that uh, database and you see here, this is the database. For example, if you see uh, through the properties, uh, you, you came to know that the size of your database is already grown up to 80 GB. This is example. Uh, in my case, it's a very less data because I'm using it for uh, just demonstration purpose. But in your case, let, uh, let us consider that the database size has already grown up to 80 GB. So now you, uh, that the thing to 
this side here that is very important for SharePoint administrators is that whether you create a new site collection that is for your quality department in same database that is if we see the database in manage content database this is the database already there are four site collections three are for departments and one is home page so SharePoint says that you can make maximum 5000 site collections in one database but there is a limitation of data size here because when the database uh, size increases the read and write queries of your data uh, becomes expensive gradually as far as SharePoint is concerned if you want to keep the best performance you want that your application may get uh, the best performance or uh, very fast results then uh, you must keep the database size of uh, each database size up to 100 GB or maximum 200 GB not more than that <clears throat> okay because uh, I have worked in many practical organizations uh, I have uh, configured many SharePoint environments and I have also discussed it with many seniors uh, SharePoint administrators they have told that they have actually faced the problem when the database size of SharePoint of each database that is I am talking about this database that is created in database server that is this one if per data per database size grows up to 200 GB more than 200 GB the read write of the data becomes expensive it gives some extra load to your processing resources of your servers and it also uh, shows you some uh, you can say uh, noticeable delays in uh, your request of uh, uh, retrieving the data from database <coughs> so as a SharePoint administrator I have that's why I have covered this point that your existing department site collection that is HR finance logistics that are in same database I have already told you uh, it has already grown up to 80 GB so now it's the point to decide that if you will create an additional site collection in the same database then 100 plus 180 will, uh, will uh, exceed up to 180 GB it means that your database size is growing up uh, up to the optimal limit that is 100 GB so uh, you will face some uh, delays so as a best practice what you will do you will create a new content database okay whenever you create a new content database automatically afterwards when you create new site collection these new site collections will be created in the latest database that is created in the SharePoint administration so as a best SharePoint administrator you have decided that you are going to create a new data content database and you are limiting it for only the new department that is quality assurance you are not going to create quality assurance department site collection in the existing depart, uh, existing database uh, in which already three sites are uh, created <coughs> So I hope that you have understand the problem statement and now we are going to the practical demonstration. So first of all you are going to add a new content database and here you are going to name it as uh, for uh, QA depart db okay underscore db you can also uh, change the naming convention but I recommend you not to change this point because it gives you uh, an indication that uh, some site collection or some website is affiliated with this type of database so I am going to uh, say that this database will be related to QA department database so I am going to leave all uh, other things uh, as default and I am going to click OK after taking some time you will notice that a new database will be created in the database server uh, right now it has only one da uh, database here that I have already shown you but uh, after creating a new database you will notice that a new database will appear so friends here you can see that uh, 
a new database with this name has been uh, created successfully if we double verify it by going into the database server and going to refresh the databases okay a new database has been created here as well so this shows that sharepoint automatically interacts with uh, its database server and it create all the required uh, tables and uh, uh, required fields itself uh, so there is no need to uh, that's why sharepoint microsoft microsoft sharepoint recommends that there is no need to interact manually with these database as the sharepoint application interacts with it uh, with itself <coughs> okay so uh, in the previous database there were four site collections we have already looked upon these uh, site collections and now in the new uh, database that is we have already attached just attached uh, now uh, as a content database you can see that there is no site collection <coughs> so now uh, whatever site collections you will create it will be automatically created in the latest content database that is created so without wasting time we are going into manage site collection and going to create site collection here i'm going to uh, name it as a, uh, a quality assurance department and i'm going to name it uh, give it the url qa team site template i'm going to set and uh, here i'm going to select sp19 admin as its uh, primary administrator and sp19 farm it as secondary administrator because in case your primary administrator uh, have any problem then you can also log in uh, as an as a secondary administrator i'm going to click ok after clicking ok a new site collection will be created and then we will verify that it has been created in a new content database okay friends uh, the new site collection has been created i'm going to click ok and if i go to see view all site collections you can see that if i click on uh, the previous site collections the database on which it was configured was this one but i if i click on a new uh, site collection that has that we have just created now you will notice that it has been created on a new database similarly i can also go into the manage content database in which we had recently uh, created a new content database it is showing that a new uh, uh, one site collection has been created here <coughs> so uh, the thing to remember here is i'm going to repeat it again uh, regardless of this thing that you can create 5000 site collection you will only create the site collections with a data size limit of 100 GB or maximum in extreme cases 200 GB not more than that because it will give some uh, delay response in your application if the database size increases uh, per content database <coughs> so I'm going again into manage content database and uh, I'm going to see view all site collections here i'm going to copy the url site and you can uh, go to your actual site website and here you can add the link to your new department qa department okay uh, and you can also move up i'm going to save so in this way you can uh, create a new site collection in a separate content database and you can uh, give us a quick link to your top site main page so that qa department uh, people can easily access this site uh, regarding the navigation links and uh, site permissions i have already covered it in my previous videos you can just go there and see the, the, uh, that how this complete site was made how we uh, add uh, these departments how we uh, quickly navigate to some other department and how we manage the site permissions here that are these one so i thank you all for watching this video uh, please uh, i request the viewers to subscribe my channel so that you may continue watching uh, my latest videos i thank you all